It's not every day you get a new army regiment, but this one is made up of the fiercest fighting machines, and they've got four legs. Military working dogs may not be high-tech, but they're highly trained, and they're saving lives on the front line. The new regiment brings together five existing squadrons with the new headquarters in Senelaga. Julie Knox has our report. At Chiron Barracks, you always know the hounds are around. You have to wear ear defenders to enter the kennels. The new regiment, under the banner of the Royal Army Veterinary Corps, will have 280 people and 200 dogs. One of the five squadrons will always be in Afghanistan. In training are the HAZD, High Assurance Search Dogs. They're an urgent operational requirement. It's a scary thing to do. Because what you're, of course, what you're doing is you're asking someone to, to be the very point man, and in fact the point man and dog, um, and, and go forward. But to their credit, they're all up for it. Uh, they want to do it, um, and now particularly as they're starting to get successes um, out in theatre, uh, even more so. One dog squadron can perform 10,000 vehicle searches in a month. For uh, a route that would take seven, eight, between you know, ten men, a couple of hours to search, the dog will search it in minutes. Uh, compounds, can have a quick run through the compound before you run into it. The guys out in the Afghan, they love working with the dogs. It's massive reassurance for them and it's, it's a big morale boost as well if they're living with, with a dog. So it's a bit of, bit of normality in, in a place like that. Search dogs like Molly will run to greet the lads as they return from a patrol. But don't try and be friendly with a protection dog. In Afghanistan, I was used as um, a northern cutoff, which is again acting as a deterrent against um, uh, suicide bombers, would, would be suicide bombers. I've never really seen it as a front line role. I mean, and obviously it is, but um, it is a challenge. This is the best scent detection technology. Gunfires even play to the dogs to get them comfy with the sound, excited about working in battle. The people are too. There's no shortage of volunteers to join. Julie Knox, Forces News, Senelaga.